Hi, this is Bob from Bob the Sound Guy, and today we're going to show you how the larger concert systems uh, are hooked up. Uh, they're hooked up with an 8 conductor cable, and they use an end called the Neutrik NL8 end, and there are 8 uh, conductors inside of that particular end. I'm going to show you guys what these look like. And this is what it looks like. Uh, there are 8, con eight uh, wires inside of this cable. And this end is a little bit bigger than the four conductor end that I showed you guys uh, on an earlier post. So there's eight conductors, and there's um, that would go for highs, high mids, low mids, and subs. So what I'm going to do is show you guys, and this is what uh, uh, a lot of the, the the big concert guys use when you use um, when you see something in a stadium or a uh, or, or a big arena or larger events, and you see those speakers that are that are going across like this or and and they're shaped like this since what's called a J curve those are called line array speakers this particular cabinet uses the same type of hookup uh, except for it's a little bit older design uh, the cabinets still sound great uh, and so anyway I want to show you guys how this what, what this is all, all entails so anyway uh, all the drivers are inside uh, these are highs high mids and low mids are down here and they're run by uh, a separate speaker processor. There's no internal crossover uh, in these types of cabinets, uh, which is why we use this type of cable. Now, traditionally, what used to happen is there would be, back in the old days, uh, there would be a separate uh, uh, speaker box for highs, a separate speaker box for high mids, a separate speaker box for low mids, and a separate speaker box for subs. Nowadays, uh, what they do is they do have the separate uh, sub speaker box, but now what a lot, a, most companies do uh, and what we do in our larger concert systems is the highs, the high mids, and the low mids are all inside of one box. And that's what we use the eight conductor cable for. Instead of having eight different cables, you have one cable uh, that connects from your amp rack uh, and then that hooks into each uh, each uh, uh, speaker driver inside of these uh, cabinets. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this cabinet around. It's a little heavy. Uh, we're going to show you show you what these look like. Okay, so there are two plugs on that cabinet. Okay, this is where in this particular plug here, this is where all, all of your uh, your um, speaker lines get put in here. This would be, and this is a, an eight conductor uh, speaker jack here. So there's highs, high mids, low mids, and subs coming through this jack, okay? So what you do with this particular type of setup is you say, you got one end coming from your amp rack, the other end go into your speaker. You go like that, push it in, turn it and click. So now all four ways, you've got highs, high mids, low mids, and subs going through this cable. Okay? And then you have another jack here. And what we have is is just the the sub signal going to this jack here. So all you do is you take a jumper and this has actually this is an eight conductor on one end, just because it, it fits, or if you want to link two together. And this has a, a four conductor jack on the other end, which goes to your separate sub cabinets. And you just take it, put it in like that, click it, and then the other side goes into your subs. And that is how uh, a lot of the bigger concert systems work, uh, especially you know, with the line arrays, and these, and even these older cabinets here, it's the same principle. Uh, it just saves you lots and lots of speaker cable, uh, lots of running around, um, and uh, it's a much, much quicker setup. Uh, whereas it used to take an hour to set up uh, and wire a speaker system like this, now it only takes about five minutes. So anyway, I'm Bob from Bob the Sound Guy, and I'll talk to you later.